Welcome to another episode of Kin of Comedy. Before we get it popping out, you make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you guys for supporting us always. We really do appreciate y'all. So, I'm your host, Jerrica. I go by the name Dante Hill. I'm Tyler Harris Jr. <laughs> what was that? And we are the Kin And we are the Kin of Comedy. What he did, I wasn't looking. I saluted. He did like a, he, he saluted. It was like a pause okay. and he went like. You're an army man. Look at his pants. Oh, oh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh. Dang, you copied me. I did. Niggas is police. You see how I'm influencing the boys? <laughs> they look better every episode. Very don't, don't listen to that. Hey, I'm not even going to let her build that narrative. Like she doing <laughs> I something. told you you look nice today, Never. too. I was like, look at you. Never. I had glasses like that last Never. episode. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I get it. It's, I'm really <laughs> dropping. Yo, that's you crazy. And Never I did not, me. right? I did. You ain't going to so never see I'm me in no is... hat like that. She killed five bears for one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough. But you know, I put the hat on, you be like, that's a nice hat. Yes, no, I, I know it's a nice hat. It's I cool. do fold it. I love to so get that. So I just love that. I'm really inspiring mm-hmm. the boys to be the best that they could be. So mm. trying. it's really the proof is in the pudding. Look, the pants, the glasses. like well, Just one article at a time. Yes. <laughs> and then soon, soon, we'll all be matchy, yeah. matchy. Oh, and, nah. you know. <laughs> she lived a dream. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so Don't much stuff is going on. let me get the hat plug. You know the hat plug? The hat plug. The hat I got from Pretty Little Thing. But now the season is changing. So yeah. don't go buy this hat. Because yeah, now you're going to be hot. Now. I'm hot now. But you know, <laughs> it is a good look to fit, though. It works together. That's for sure, it's yeah. always great when I don't feel like doing my hair eat, too. So I think that. It works it's out. It's good seeing you guys again. I know. I miss y'all. It's been some Is it always fun to get in here? I know it's hard for us to get together sometimes, but we make it work. And we're here. Wow. So What's Cali like? How's Cali? I don't know. I haven't been there in a month. Oh, I've been, been here. Out here it's like I borderline live here again. I always wonder Just if I back. if I stayed here, would I be in California as much as I am in New York now? Like if I didn't move, it's like you're always trying to get to the place that you don't have like a crib at. It don't make no sense. <laughs> so I don't know, but it's it's cool when I am there. I don't do nothing. I come to New York. I act a ass. Well, yeah. Like coming in the house at seven a.m. Act a ass. That's what you did last yeah. today. No, two days ago. That's what you always doing. You know, it's, it's Jerrica like, sent something in the group chat. I'm going to read it. No, actually, she didn't send it. I sent it to the group he chat. She put it in her story. story. I'm just going to read it to y'all. Just so y'all know what Jerrica's uh, energy is. Because we're about to talk about a festival that happened a week or so ago. And <laughs> she was on timing. She never went to sleep. It's what she do all the time. She's like, yo, we got to kick it in real life. I'm like, I'm with it. We go to one of the talent shows. They don't want to kick it with me because they're scared. Then I see how she moves. This is how I go. I'm the baby of the group, so I have more energy. <clears throat> this is what it say. This is the face of a girl who closed the bar down at 4.30 a.m. and made it home at 7 a.m. and now pushing to a brunch with my dear friends, but I'm late as fuck. And the picture is like one of them like, <laughs> Did I make it to the brunch? Yes. Was That's I two hours? Crazy, was I an hour man. late? Yes. No, that was my energy like up until like 26, 27. One day I'll... Be 30. Yeah. But you know, I also, I'm like, mm, I'm pandemic age. Technically, I'm 27. Pandemic age. So when I'm acting an ass out in the street, I'm 27. I how how many like years that. you subtract off your, um, off your shift your pandemic? Life. Three. <laughs> Three? That's, Three. that's, that's a why. drag. Why that's a like, drag. You didn't even wear masks that long. <laughs> two, two, <laughs> two max. No, okay, fine. That. So I'm 28, not 27. Mm. Still can act an ass. I ain't gonna hold you though. I'm with you this summer. That's why I got the they shades say that on now, yeah. And then I gotta no, be no, begging no. people to no, hang no, no. out. This is what happened. Me and Talon got domesticated in a in a good way. Like, cause I I love my situation, but I think I needed that. I was outside a lot more, just willy nilly. Now I'm more kind of like concerned. I like watching Netflix. I like kind of kicking it in the crib. I mm-hmm. like cre- you know catching my vibe there. When I go out, I just like it to have purpose. You know? I like to know who I'm gonna be with, what it's about, what I'm getting out of it. I don't just go to clubs. Oh, you're not with the spot, the spontaneity. You know. No, I like spontaneity, yeah. but I like spontaneity in the form of ideas. Like, for example, since doing this and having a camera and shit, like Reggie Kush will hit me, like, yo, bro, I want to shoot something. I like that. Yeah. And then I'm, I'll slide. Then from there, you always get into something. You always go get a drink. You always run into somebody. Yeah. But I like surrounding motion with the idea of something productive coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. I just think I'm past the point in my life where I'm kicking it to just have fun with niggas. Like, I'd, I'd rather do things that are going to get you done with people I like to be around. Like I this. You. That's fair. You know what I mean? I hear that. I sound that sound too. That's I sound boring. No, no, it's cool. You're no, trying I'm to get boring. to it. I get it. Yeah, I'm kicking That's it. That's fine. But I'm the personality hire. So like, I go out. Yeah, flip is crazy. You know, 
I go out and I talk to people and I network, but all while shaking my ass and drinking, Ooh, and having like a that? good time. <laughs> so Yo, sometimes you need vocals? somebody in the group to do that, and I sacrifice. My time. I didn't even know we needed an ass shaker. To make sure we see, I'll be outside talking about us. Where y'all at? Nowhere to be fucking found. That's what I'm saying. I'll be talking. So I'm, I'm saying, be spreading this shit out on my side. I am the personality hire in every little thing that I do. <laughs> People go, Well, you're going to go outside and have the dinners. Yes, I will. <laughs> that is funny. I'm going to go outside and dance. Yes, I respect I will. it. He's spreading the good me word. Me. You know, so y'all need me to say that. Yeah, I'm outside this summer, though, for real. I'm going to. I had June first in my head. Don't do that. See, don't highlight it. Now they're gonna like talk about redact. Now they're gonna don't do it. Why did you say that? I was because it's June first. I oh. I was gonna say June okay. next. Pizza oh. Zoo, June first. Like, what did the okay? Y'all just we lying. got you. Be, we got we'll you. Be I'm down to be outside too, as long yeah, as it's yeah, during the summer. day. You know yeah, what I mean? God. They got the little pre-sale tickets. They low. It ain't nothing crazy. It's like, you know, man pizza free there, pizzas. Yeah. You get a little bit of I've been to Pizza Zoo one time. I don't think I've actually ever gone. All right. I got mad because I went to Pizza Zoo, right? <laughs> I never been, so yeah. Probably. So I, I'm going up. I, um, I'm going up the stairs or whatever. I had like you know my grinder in my pocket, maybe like a couple joints rolled yeah. up or whatever. So they they confiscated my grinder. Okay. Ooh, they had metal detectors. No, I don't even. I don't know <laughs> what. <laughs> Where was it? At? Where was it? At? It was. <laughs> they got robbed. Somewhere <laughs> on the. Somewhere on, they do a different somewhere on like right? the lower west yeah. side yeah. area, I think. I know somewhere this one, like, this is the anniversary. It's going to be in Coney Island, but I know they do it different places. <sighs> but the thing that made me mad, they confiscate my sh my lighter. They, you know, they don't they don't yeah, let yeah. you go in it there with anything like smoke shit. But I go into the bathroom, the niggas selling Dutchess <laughs> and roll up. The little <laughs> bathroom attendant nigga like. <laughs> but this was, so this was inside a place? Yeah. This one that is on is Coney weird. Island, like Boardwalk, the park. So it's, so it's outside. They said yeah. somebody selling drugs in the bathroom. That's crazy. You take my grinder. Think always going to do that. They know yeah, but you're but selling roll up. <laughs> Why are you selling drugs in the bathroom? It's pizzas or things. ain't no normal bathroom. Yeah, but they take his grinder. <laughs> yeah, they took your grinder. It was just sell, sell drugs in the got, bathroom. They all in on it you together. You got roll up supplies. <laughs> it's it's gang shit. Not, they all in it together. That's I don't know. But y'all should slide. I think it'll be a cool thing for us to do. I'll talk about it more later after this. Um... But, oh, yo. but we said that to say, I went to. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I went to Austin, Texas, because. That sour straw good as shit, ain't it? I'm really not. Body I'm trying not to shit. choke. But yes, let me take a pause on my little, <laughs> little snacky snack. Snack. One thing I'm gonna right. do is have them shits every time we sit here. <laughs> I need mean, my only sugar. I begin a little bit, but. <laughs> I get the deal. So Isaiah texts me on like a Monday before the festival, the Moon Tower Festival, comedy festival. In Austin, Texas. Last time I was in Austin. I love Austin. I got a lot to say about that. Oh. Last time I was in Austin, I was there for South by Southwest two years ago. Yeah. I was there for like eight days. Yeah. And I said, I don't ever have to come back here. What? That's what I, I did was not there, love South it. By. I did not love I it. And I was like, it. dang, what am I? And mind you, I went to South by by myself. So I was, you know, getting yeah, you was at like me and people Street. randomly at this at South by. So whatever. So Isaiah texted me on a Monday. He's performing. The whole weekend, whatever. So I guess I got there Thursday. Mm -hmm. The Thursday night, I didn't see the him. Festivals Monday through. It was like a two week festival. He oh, just happened damn. to be performing that weekend. So I was like, he's like, you gonna come? Because I told him I would come like a month ago. So I was like, okay, I'll go. Book my ticket on that Monday. Mm -hmm. End up in Austin Thursday. Did I hang out with him the first Thursday night? I don't think so. I think I saw him Friday. So anyway, Isaiah was acting like a motherfucking chaperone. I was like, Isaiah, let's go outside after your shows. No, I'm not trying to go nowhere. Don't go that way. Your dad told me to watch out for you. I was like, no, he did not. <laughs> my, my, he probably my, did. My dad, I asked my dad. He said, hey, he did not. He probably did. I knew bro. that. I was like, my dad he ain't worried about did, me over bro. here. I'm a grown you lady. You forget, Zay is like, he want to eat age, but he like J.B. Yeah, yeah, he's like my dad's right. spirit, which is like, he, he really do. I remember we had, before Isaiah was on this with us, when we had him as a guest, I remember he was talking about J.B. Dog. I'm like, nigga, really be in a crib like that? And yeah, he be talking. Like, he really, yeah, they, they be on that little um, Madden thing, and they be playing. Yeah. Or he all, or he all That's perfect my dad for yelling. them, because it's like, you think it's your friend, but it's really your pop. It's friend. not my, I mean, like, not my friend. <laughs> kicking it he regular. my dad friend that I be friend with later. Spy, I guess. 
Hell but yeah, yeah, he was acting like a chaperone. So then I took That's a selfie guy. of us mm-hmm. and sent it to the boys. And Isaiah was complaining because I wanted to go outside. <laughs> No, nah, Isaiah wasn't complaining. You sent the picture. We gotta put this in. This, this shit. We gotta include this flip. We gotta see the picture. picture while we talk about this. But yeah, he looked like <laughs> like he was being deprived of rest. And Jerrica looked like she always do. Every time we shoot a pot, I said this in other episodes. Just guys, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. If any of us ever are gonna do anything besides go home or go to work after this, it's Jerrica. She's always more like, yo, y'all wanna go to last stop? Y'all wanna go up and down? Y'all wanna go whatever? It's always her, the tired one. And so when we saw that flick, it's like she, she could look energized and rejuvenated, but we that don't mean shit, shit when it's Jericho. That could be after like a 32-hour bender. Yes, I'll be tired you know of shit. I mean? But you know how And I you shared it. And you said that Isaiah was being a grumpy. Chaperone. And shit. Yeah, being a chaperone. I couldn't, like, he's nah. like, don't walk over that way. I'm like, Isaiah, <laughs> what the fuck? Walk. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So over. I'm just the party girl, I guess, out of the group. Um, and that's really it. How was the festival? Oh, it was cool. You know, I ran into a lot of people I used to work with. Because Isaiah's rep by my old job. UTA, UTA. Right? So I ran into some people that came up, you know, through the mailroom with seeing my one of my friends who was a promoter at AEG. I didn't see her in years. I was like, hey girl. You used to work at UTA too. But it was cool. It was like running into people. Dope, dope. Um, again, Austin. Maybe I'd be on the wrong side of town. I don't get it. Not my vibe. What is we it? We had the worst what? Chinese food we ever had in our life, by the way. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm thinking about Toronto or some bad Chinese food. No, it was but no, so bad. What, what? But what is it that you don't like about it overall? I don't know. The vibe is weird there to me. Yeah, maybe it depends on when you go. I think when you go for a festival, you're like kind of falling into a melting pot with other people that probably aren't reflective of the. So I had a friend that lived there, and he lives in like the greenery area of Austin. He's like, I don't even come. The most suburban or something. Yeah, it looks like Hikingville, basically. Like you could just go yeah. on a walk a trail or whatever, and that's like. But he's like, I don't even come to downtown. It's not that fun. Maybe I got to go outside of downtown. Yeah, yeah you got to find a part you oh, like. Oh, you know I like who I did Street, see? I forgot. Street, I got tickets to see Roy Woods. Oh, okay. You got to finish his name. He's one of the best. Right. Roy Woods Jr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you He's something. He's funny as fuck. He fucking smoked it. That was the first time yeah. I've seen his stand up. Oh, really? Yeah, Roy Woods is good. I, he was so funny. I seen him White, at the Bell White House, House correspondence dinner. Was that? Oh, no, I'm sorry. The White House correspondence dinner he did like last year. Yeah, really, yeah, 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 yeah. But what you said, you said I've I seen him live at the Bell House okay. in uh, Brooklyn, and he's he just yeah. Were well, you on that show? Up. Nah, nah. I was just there as a um, comic, taking it. Fan. Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, he's really good. I didn't really know his jokes. Was that good. His jokes are just so he like connects so fucking he's a, smooth. He's a comedy nerd. Like I've listened yeah, to a lot of podcasts be. with him. He's yeah. always just like dropping jewels and shit. Mm-hmm. It's just like. And it translates well to like what he do on like the Daily Show and all of that yeah. too. Like he's Why just didn't give him that job? Huh? Why didn't they give him that job? I don't know if he wanted it. I think um, some people might not want it because I think it takes feel, over your schedule a certain way too. Like yeah, he might want to. Nah, he definitely like he, he definitely want wanted it. He, he left. I, I didn't. I didn't hear anything about so it. Yeah, he's, so he's he left. You know what I mean? Because it was just like. He's gone. He felt entirely. like he, nah. Yeah. He doesn't work there no more. No, oh, he's know. left. He's they, gone. I know like, John, John Stewart, Stewart came. Back. He's back for Mondays. I watch his because I've always loved then John. Then there's like guest hosts all the time. Yeah, Why Leslie. Jones. I feel like, like the only time. reason they might have not given him the gig <laughs> is <laughs> she left it. <laughs> I feel like he didn't get the gig because he's not younger. You, you know what I mean? So? You think that's for the you Daily think Show? Youth? John Stewart. I think so. Well, he's John Stewart's not, but he's not example, officially. He's an enigmatic now. Like he's yeah, different. Yeah, fair. right. But you think he wants somebody super young to do it so they can? But stay he works so perfectly. Time? People, I think the majority of the fan base kind of wanted at least you know That's leaning toward a certain yeah. side, and he looks perfect for that kind of jo- role. Like I think the Daily Show is so political. I don't think the youth aspect matters as much about how people are taking in that content. I feel like they were leaning towards um, what was that guy? The Asian one, the um Indian guy. Indian They've just oh, had certain um, hosts frequently, and um, I know those. The, uh, uh, the one that got caught lying. Yeah, yeah, Ramen yeah. Um, oh, oh, I didn't talking about, um, um, We talked about him here. Yes, uh, uh, Hassan. Hassan Minaj. Yes, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, they yeah. were leaning towards him, but would yeah. it? I think so. I see what you're saying. Who, so man. who does the other days? Yeah, it would have probably gave they them have, a like, different audience. They have people from the writers' room. Like the writers Leslie Jones be there a lot. So they just be keep swapping people out. Yeah, but John Stewart is back, but he only does Mondays. Only Mondays. And it's been fire. Like, I love Jon Stewart. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's um, great. Yeah, and like, I watch those, but I can't job. really. Yeah, it seems like he's just like a shoe in 
He's been yeah. there the longest. I feel like he likes, I feel like he's just in a space now where, you know, contractually before you got to do all your shows. But now he has the leverage, but he probably still wants to do it. But he wants the time and the freedom to do what he wants with his other time. So like, I'll do it one day a week. Before, they probably would have never gave that to you. Yeah. You know what I mean, now yeah. you got the. But even at the Emmy, I feel like it's at the Emmys and they were getting an award for the Daily Show. And you see him in the background, like hire a host. Like he was like, mouth. You see, you see that clip? I've seen that clip. Yeah. He's like, no, I ain't basically, seen that. hire a host. <laughs> like, he's like, I was basically I was there. Um, How did Isaiah do out there at the festival? He killed. He killed. Yeah, yeah, he did yeah. A good. good. Job. I feel. I feel yeah, like that would be like that. Yeah, funny. Um, it was one room. with my home girl, we because Isaiah had us walk in late as hell, like right before you had to walk on here, like five minutes. So, but there was other comics that went up, and my home girl that was in there, I didn't know she was there, but she said she pulled me to the side later. She was like, Isaiah had the most laughs in that room. That's she was like, I was there about five comics went up. That he had the most laughs. A lot of people like, said that about his Netflix shit too. Yeah. 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 His Netflix, bro, I tell you, there's certain, that's not saying that because that's my man, but there's certain shit that just made me die, bro. Like, I was like on the floor for real. He said, um, it was the shit with the dick pic shit. Yeah, that shit. It, it was like, his, his he foot was fucked up. Yeah, 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 he, was, he, was was like, he was like, what's this? He was like, he was like, that's my dick. <laughs> and Shorty was like, I know it has your dick. <laughs> Whose foot is that? Oh, that ain't mine. That ain't my foot. <laughs> I don't know. He's so <laughs> no, yo, that nigga yeah, kill no, He did a good job. Yo. Yeah. He opened for Roy. Oh, did he? Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, he fire, opened for Roy. Was about fire. My show. boy going stupid. So That's fire. He opened man. for Roy. My boy going stupid. He did a bunch of shows, yeah. Um, but I will say it was a very, it was just very white, the festival itself. I, it was like a few black com comics, but it like, and I went to like the little after party they had and it was just, oh, it wasn't I, a lot of black representation. I don't know why I thought it was a, a black festival. No, it was very white. You thought it was? That was the blackest show? Yes. Okay. Me. Yes. Everybody. You thought it was a black festival? Yeah. 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 Just from the, the flyer that I seen that he um, posted. Mm, so I bro, think that was probably the black show. Just, like you say, yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that was, that was interesting. I was talking to him and Sam J about it because. He was there too, and, we, fuck were, with Sam, and we were like, "This is Sam's where is good people. black people," and they're like, yeah. "It's a handful of them." I, mean, I think Miss Pat was there. I missed her though. So, but yeah, it was I think, like, "Y'all niggas do this." Yeah, basically, oh, and I was like, "This is interesting." So Isaiah was like, "We need to make a black festival." I was like, "I'm down. How we do it? How we do it? What's the next step?" Like, there is no black comedy festivals. No, there gotta be ski yeah. trips. But that's <laughs> all right. Let me see. Black comedy. Essentially. Black comedy festival. Yo, bro, that's oh, okay. uh, for weren't you um I don't I don't I feel like we had this conversation before. You were trying to or going out for something for Netflix is a joke or something? Oh yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I feel like conference? it's right around the corner for you though. I mean, just absor yeah. observing you, especially since we've been doing this. I mean, I'm too thin already just because mm. of our organic connections, mm. but I don't know, I feel like this last year, since we've been doing this pod, not that the pod is making it happen, it could be coincidence or whatever, just maybe you just got a certain battery in your bag, mm -hmm. I know you just moved and all of that, but it seems like between the skits, stand up and your rotation between them, the overall response and how your page and stuff has been yeah. going as of late, it feels like your trajectory yeah. is moving in a way that a comics is supposed to who's gonna mm -hmm. have some type of real success. Yeah. yeah. Trying to be careful, my I want to say real success. Like yeah. uh, you got me, Perry. Don't smile at me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm trying to watch it. But um, yeah. Do you feel like that? I mean, I I think I've asked you that before. You I know it's a loaded sure. question. Yeah, it's definitely always been just like a. It's yeah. a slow grind, but it's it's going it's yeah. going up. Yeah, yeah. It's like a roll, you know, the roller coaster. Coming, still I got a year in my head when you're gonna have a special. I don't want to give it to you though, because I feel like it might fuck you up. Nah, don't tell me. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, profit. Because I get it. No, nah, I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, obviously I don't got like stats to go mm -hmm. on, but I got an idea just that I just kind of came up with thinking about some things and yeah. I could see it. You know what I mean? One I'm going to know what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to write it. I'm going to put it in like my notes or something, say right there's a date on it and yeah. I'm going to show you like when it happens. And so if it just imagines, email yourself. Woo, yeah, email it's yourself. Fire it's episode. Fire yeah, later. something like that. The only black comedy festival I found was in Portland, which is an odd place. Oh, you ain't going out there. There's not a lot of black people there. Why would that be the black place for black? No, yeah. Anyway, so put it that. on our list. Maybe we'll make it the Kenna Comedy Black Comedy Festival. The we got some shit cooking. Festival. We might have to do that. Yeah, got some shit cooking. I'm just gonna uh, put that just in your brains. Go ahead, yeah, manifest yeah, yeah. uh profit over here. No, I ain't gonna say it. Write it down. Write it down. But yo, 
I'm sorry. Okay. Go no, ahead. No, you want to get into no. some shit? No, I was about to do the no, same thing go. you were about to do. You want to get into the shit? What you want to go into first? What's so, you know, when we don't have a guest, we we get a little topical. We want to get on some shit that's going on. Yeah. But I don't know what y'all want to start with. I mean, you want to talk with your girl? No. No. We no, no start that would be like, let's start with your boy. Your yeah, boy, that's my boy. <laughs> that's crazy. Your boy, nah, your boy. Why is that crazy? So the the uh, what are we talking about? The Gerard Carmichael reality show. Mm. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Is that that is that's the name? I think that's the title. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Very you know, simple. Very simple. Straight mm-hmm. to the point. You know what you're getting into. Do you? Um, no, I don't think I, you think do. I, I mean, think you I get that. you get a gist of it. Episode one. Um, I've only seen um three episodes. But um, only, <laughs> only three episodes so far. Um, I don't know how many's out right now, mm. but I think it's been dropping every Friday. Mm. Um, I think the biggest news I heard about it was the backlash he was getting from that joke. The slave oh, one. the slave. Do thing. you remember? Um, I don't know. Well, I know on the Breakfast Club he said that they um they took him out of context. Mm-hmm. They were saying uh, that he, he does like slave asshole. play in his sex life, but he was saying that the joke had nothing to do with sex. But it did. Like I thought that that was bullshit. He said like uh-huh. it wasn't about it. Like I mean I get. Okay, wait. Yeah. Let me say exactly what he said. Okay. The scene in question sees a comedian telling joke, telling joking about his relationship during a stand-up gig, where he said, "My boyfriend, he makes me smarter. Right. He makes me read." I have so many books. Realistically, I'm not going to read all the books. He knows that. But the fact that I bought them says I love you. They're little monuments around my apartment. Just look at this book from Amazon I'm never going to read. I sometimes joke to him that our relationship is that of a slave and a master's son who like teaches me how to read by candlelight. Yeah. Yeah. A weird thing to say. Yeah, but it was just he said it wasn't about slavery. That's just so weird. That's but like it, saying, but you're because, saying yeah, because you can nasty. say like it's so you're like, saying it's not about sex. Yeah, it's but, not um, like we're not role playing. They were saying sex. on the Breakfast Club that it they it, the t- <clears throat> the fact that the metaphor like revolved around slavery had offended some people. Some yeah. people felt weird about that, and he was saying it wasn't about slavery. And I'm like, dog, that was your whole metaphor. The whole end of your joke clung to the idea of that being funny to people. That's mm-hmm. why you said it. And you did say it. That's like, as for somebody who is so offended by the Dave shit with the it's like, like, how do you, like, what if he said the same thing? Like, it wasn't about it was about mm-hmm. how I feel about people judging me. It's like you, you chose a group of people, you know what I mean, to speak mm-hmm. on. Yeah. And it's just, just think it's a weird thing. I don't think it's even a big deal. Comedians offend people all the time. I just think that he puts himself in position sometimes to be like more, he condemns more than I've, I've, I've come to see most comics feel comfortable with condemning because of the nature of the business. Mm-hmm. Cause to talk crazy about Dave like that. Then it'd be so defensive about your own shit. You know what I mean? He was just like super defensive. You saw the interview? Breakfast Club, yeah. Like, yeah. Like Remember every time I saw him, he was like, I was deeply offended. Like, I was like, I was like, no, I thought that, that I, that, like, it, 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 like, you know, he was talking like it pissed him off. Like, he questioned the friendship. And I've seen Charlemagne be way worse. Like, people didn't like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nobody came at you. And there was no accountability on that point. He tried to apologize to Dave months later. And when you spoke to like a fucking magazine mm-hmm. about your issues with the nigga as a comic. Mm-hmm. I saw Bill Burr the other day on GQ doing like reviews of people doing impressions of him. And even the ones that were horrible, he just didn't want to say anything bad about a comic. Yeah. Because you know what that is. Yeah, that's fair. And it's just like, you know, bro. And it's just like, oh, I don't know. I don't like the guy. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not crazy about Gerard. Man. We got to take it out. <laughs> Why? Oh, Why I mean, I don't know. I just think Why? he just did the thing. I ain't telling weird. him nothing crazy. Then, I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan. Because I, I can't, it's hard for me to enjoy. I don't think he's even that funny, like personally. Yeah. Did, but he it's like, sh- did y'all watch when he had the Ger- show? The Gerard Carmichael show? The, yeah. You know, I actually he, like he that. He really it was don't pick no complicated names, huh? He just keeps nah, straight yeah. to the point. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and the Gerard Carmichael reality show. You like it? I like the sitcom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the sitcom. I don't think I watched it that I thought it was all right. I think sometimes black people like we get like we we get the film we have to support each other's work like insecure and shit you know in order to get things to go on a higher level I feel like but it feels like with some people or some things in the black community is like we support it but it feels like it gets boosted a little more for its intention as opposed to its execution and I thought your, the Carmichael show was a dope blueprint you know what I mean but for me it felt like okay these are things you want to expand on and do a little better he wasn't like a 
great main character or anything to me or like a you know a protagonist that caught you and i don't think the subject the subject matter felt a little heavy-handed to me but it was just nobody else in sitcom format for black people talking about these same things mm -hmm. and yeah. little rel's funny as fuck yeah he's funny. you know what i mean but i don't know dog i just feel like he's gotten a little lucky i remember they called him prolific for that show mm -hmm. and i didn't you know you personal opinion yeah right. i um and then the clip that was circulating about um him and tyler the creator and he was like, I like you. I have feelings for you. And Tyler's like, where's my taco? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he just, was just like so got weird. a bum rush with it. He was such a friend it. up in that moment. Yeah. I was like, that's weird. But... The conversation looked weird. It was like you didn't like even prepare yourself for how to like have this conversation with your friend or whatever, which is cool. That could happen. But you know what it's like? He doesn't seem like he means poorly. He even apologized for the Dave thing and the Breakfast Club thing. But mm -hmm. it's like somebody, every time you're around him, like they fuck something up. Mm -hmm. mm. And it's like, you not like it asshole like i don't hate you but it's just like you'd be like yo where we going no we gonna kick it who coming talent jerrica all right cool cool who else yeah. gerard <sighs> all right <laughs> you know what i mean not like he can't come but just like that right, cool i got you oh, <laughs> all right bet, bet, bet. For like, where y'all sitting for like tyler's man funny in the clip he like he's like yo bro i'm gay but i ain't that gay bro <laughs> like you wild. <laughs> yeah. And I'll fuck with Tyler. Like, I like that energy, man. He just, I don't know, man. And I just, I don't like that if somebody does. No, I was going to read that. Just say it. <laughs> we know. No, I, I was going to say, I don't like that if you identify as being from a part of any kind of community. It's whatever, it's completely, you're right, you know, and, and whatever is in nature, you is completely, your business has nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. I just don't like when somebody from a character degree could have something that don't coincide with you and then you immediately come off like a bigot because there is a different difference in, you know, your identification or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't like, who <laughs> he seems to be as a person. And I don't, I've don't. i heard that come across as homophobic before, and I just don't understand why. I think that's conflating issues. And I think that's disrespectful to the homosexual community. It's disrespectful to any community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like, nah, if I'm a serial killer and I happen to be black and a white nigga catch me, nigga ain't racist. You don't like murder. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, fair. it's just, there's a clear line there. He just annoys the fuck out of me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's why. This nigga hate him. Nah. It's like, I mean, <laughs> It's your opinion. I mean, you fuck with him. I don't have nothing against him. I don't have anything. He's. I don't know. It's like the um. I have no problem with him, but um. I just don't understand the goal of the show. That's kind of. But I also haven't finished it, so I don't want right. to. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't want to be yeah, conclusive about it. Right. Um. Because the first three episodes is kind of just him showing him. Self being just like a bad person. Yeah. You know he what I mean? He cheats on his boyfriend. Yeah. Repeatedly cheats on his boyfriend. He got toes in his mouth and shit, right? Oh. That does nothing. Whatever you into, that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's your thing. yeah. But I mean, it ain't, don't matter what you it's just anybody. I don't necessarily. But it's wanna, just like you know. <laughs> showing himself. <laughs> um, So it's like, I haven't finished yet. So maybe there's a like, by the end of it, there's a like don't big resolution it. and it's like, you know what I mean? I <laughs> this is what it was I, all about. All you know along. what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, nah. like when there's a series, it's like <laughs> I just know character you development. Yeah, you gotta That's give what it I mean. to, yeah. So you it's can't like come to a judgment without letting it conclude. So yeah. it's like maybe, maybe he's, he's kind of showing picture. all of this up top, yeah. and then episode nine and ten is like bringing it together. He brings it together. It's like maybe he doesn't I'm see. a better person. Maybe there's some healing in it. Maybe, yeah. yeah. But essentially, Maybe. it's just like so far. It's just been him being a dickhead. Yeah. Like the, the the third episode I seen, um, most recent episode I seen, it starts off with him. Uh, he's about he's it's showing like jokes about him talking about like he's about to go to a, uh, his friend's wedding, and uh, his friend called him. He's, he's supposed to be like one of the the groomsmen. Oh, okay. and he's like, "Yo, uh, go to can you go to the men's warehouse to get fitted for this or whatever?" And he's on stage, kind of talking about. It. He's like. He's like, yo, this nigga trying to have me in some rented Ferragamo or some shit. Like he said some shit like that. And then but the nigga, he didn't he just he went to Tom Ford, got his own suit. Yeah. He was supposed to wear some black shit, like a black um button up. They show a clip of him talking to his man. He's like, yo, you you're supposed to wear it black. And he's just like, Did you get fitted or whatever? And then 
He shows up to the wedding an hour late. Hmm. Yeah, bro. And it's like you just can't have so an he shows so up you put a, yourself out there. He like shows that. up an hour like, late and he has white on. Everybody else has black on. So it's just like it's just showing him being like an you know, uh, ego maniac. I just know that if this nigga was Jim Jones from Dipset. And he did half of that shit. It just be like, yo, this nigga a dick, yo. I saw somebody <laughs> say this, he didn't marry. What? I saw some, Jones, just because it's because it's easier to demonize certain <laughs> images, and it feels like Gerard Carmichael kind of. They kill like him. He, tries, my thing. he attempts to benefit off of what he feels like is what disenfranchises him mm -hmm. in order to gain sympathy for things that can rightfully be interpreted as assholeish. And I feel like certain people who match a certain image don't get away with that as well. And you have to walk along a lot more delicately when it's genuinely harder for you. I saw somebody say funny shit because Jim Jones ain't marry his fiance yet from Love and Hip Hop. They said that's why his, his day. Yeah. That's why they said his braids. They said that's why his braids ain't never fresh. <laughs> like his karma for not marrying. But He's it's cursed. just you know, like some people, you know, you're held to a different scale. And I think if you can match a certain gumbo of uh, groups or communities or feelings, uh, and that's a wide list of things. That means even you know, groups you could join. Not like I'm not just talking about like sexual identity or things of that nature. I just mean period. I feel like there are certain groups that are weaponized in order to just allow people to just kind of be dicks sometimes mm -hmm. from certain individuals. I'm not saying that's the majority or that's even most people, but there are people that do that. And I feel like if you view people for their character, you would, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you, you can feel that way. It's okay. Just don't hurt nobody. Yeah. Speaking of, this Amanda Seals. <laughs> but they even I'm reading the yeah. New York Times and it's like the show is also about hard how hard emotional maturity can be to obtain about how emotional vulnerability and moral accountability require courage that many strain to reach as Carmichael says it's easier to say I'm gay than I'm sorry it's a weird quote too that was in the episode I just seen he said he rather he said he's on stage he's like isn't it crazy I'd rather suck a dick than to say I'm sorry. I don't even really get the correlation. <laughs> I was just like, bro, like what? That's, that's, that's like, a weird thing. I, said that I just don't even understand so just, the metaphor. So it's, you can, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I feel you. It's like, yeah, because it's like you bring up the gay thing and it's like then you bring up like a human thing. And it's like this human thing is hard because of the gay thing. Like, I'm not gay, so I don't identify specifically with that part, but I like... I mean, I don't know. It's so easier to eat pussy than to apologize. It's a weird thing to say. It doesn't. That doesn't make sense. But it's it's a weird thing to say because it's, I feel like that's even like demonizing your own group almost. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. You're making it. Yeah. You're like adding to the stigma on the same scale of an apology. At, it's, like, <laughs> it's like, damn, I'd rather this have. Like I'd yeah, rather I'm have sex with a man. Then apologize. say I'm sorry. Like putting that yeah. on the same, like, yeah. Really... Then it feels like there's a little shock. This is supposed to be intended, just like the like slave thing, a yeah. human thing. Yeah, right. bro. And it's just, he just has too much of that. If he didn't have that, I just would be indifferent. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I just, he's not that funny to me, but I, this mad comments ain't that funny to me. And I'll never say nothing about him. I'm not looking at disrespect. Mm -hmm. But I think that he's been fortunate enough to have a certain trajectory based on um, certain moves that he's made at specific points in time mm -hmm. that he seems to almost take for granted in how he discusses other factors of things, you know, and how he discusses himself. And it's just for me, it's always carried, like all of our fathers have, for as long as we can remember, been involved in this entertainment industry in a way where we've come up and at random points met all kinds of celebrities, been in all kinds of random famous places or whatever. So I don't know about y'all, but I've always kind of felt like celebrity don't do nothing for me. It's always your character. Like, yeah. If I don't like you, like I don't like you. You know, I ain't trying to be around you and shit. You know what yeah. I mean? I ain't. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Have you seen uh, episodes? I'm only watching the clips. Only clips. I know I should have it's, it. He does, he splices it in with stand up. So he'll be doing a uh -huh. bit about a certain. That's where the slave thing came from, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. So he'll do fair. bits to correlate with something that's going on in the show and then like the, it'll go from the bit to like the reality of that. Jerry. Yeah, in a way. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, but reality like version yeah. of that. Okay. Yeah. And it's I just weird. Was I just want to comment on like it's it's just like he's almost not doing stand up. Yeah. He's not telling jokes. It's like what you think about Dave, I think about him. 
<laughs> chill, chill. Come on. I don't, I'm not a Dave hater. you have hater. thought. I was I like, <laughs> I don't, I'm not a Dave hater. I was going to say that earlier. I was like, well, this is kind of feeling like Dave. Dave yeah, you know what I mean? I don't got nothing against Dave. I, I love Dave. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's a legend. I just, you know. You have your opinion. His and latter, that's okay. His latter work. Title too. Yeah, I don't definitely. I'm not a big fan of his latter work, but um, I don't know. Dave tell jokes, though. He does. He at least tells jokes. I feel like with Gerard Carmichael, I want you to like. My God. At least like watch one episode. I'll as much as you can get through. As much as you can get through. Because I don't like, like you said, I don't like casting judgment on something yeah, yeah. I haven't seen. It's just feeling like I got a good enough idea to guy. Like if Trump had a reality show come out tomorrow, we could cut this, Karen. It's just, I know y'all don't want this. No. Nah. But I was just like, I just wouldn't want to watch it. Like, I don't it's care. okay. Yeah, he's at the table. It's not for he's everybody. Fuck, but I don't like, I don't. He got a it. facelift. Did y'all see the new picture of him? No, I don't His facelift. <laughs> I was like, damn. He got a facelift? We had time to do that. Look at his picture with, what's his name? Ryan Garcia. He was standing That's like well. mm, America. And I was like, dang, his face looks like pull back. He yo, must have, yo. he got a little facelift. I don't know yo, when he had time am... to do that and heal. I feel like I saw him <laughs> last week, but with a different face. Whatever. Um, let's That's pivot. a crazy observation. I, yes, it, y'all ain't noticed? <laughs> nah, he looks different. Nah, I didn't. Or is his double? He might have somebody stepping Ooh. in for him. You never know. Conspiracy. Triple orange. You never know. Triple. <laughs> um, let's pivot. Did let's you guys pivot. see the good times? No trailer. Uh, I saw the trailer. Yeah, let's let's start with the trailer because I feel like the trailer was what started everything. People were upset about. They saw that. I remember the pictures came out. They're like, "Oh, first look at the good times." Also, your and dad is involved. Yeah, yeah. I'll get into that yeah. one. I'll get into that one. So when they when they were rebooting Good Times, and I got the email about it, I was like, "Oh, this sounds fun. Animated series. Cool." My dad was excited to do it. Whatever. Um, Norman Lear was attached to it. Uh, Chris Summers. Um, Renata Shepard. There's a lot of good people on yeah, the show. Yeah, were in charge of, of it. Oh, talent. Seth MacFarlane, which is yeah, yeah, a family guy. I feel like that has become the issue. And weirdly, oh, yeah, really. Steph Curry. Mm-hmm. And for Steph no reason. Curry. Steph Curry. He's, a, a, he's a producer. Ex, ex, yeah, executive producer. Oh, he peed it. So it a lot of good people had their hands on it. But, you know, Seth MacFarlane. As Family Guy, uh, Cleveland Show, American Dad, like that's But it, it had black people as showrunners. Running it. Yeah. But when you when they I think when the trailer came out, there was a lot going on. It's it's it is very busy. It's shooting guns, it's drug dealing baby on the street. It looks nuts. You've seen the show, right? I've watched a couple You've episodes. You've seen it? I have. I haven't seen it, but I've seen the backlash on Twitter. Yeah. Pretty much they saying that they they cooning out on that show, man. Yeah, I, but you know what? I also was reading a piece that they were saying even the old good times was a caricature of the black experience, too. I think that's why the guy, um, the dad, he left the show. Yeah. Because, because of that. Of, yeah, because of that. So it's like, but and I feel like a lot of people that are speaking up, I'm like, did you guys actually watch good times? Because my dad mentioned, he was like, even when I watched good times, when he watched good times, it was reruns. I've probably seen a few episodes growing up. Mm-hmm. You know, the dynamite, like that. Because that's like, <laughs> dynamite! You know, like JJ or whatever. But like, I don't know. And I, I, I think if they did the show and didn't name it Good Times, it would have been different. Mm-hmm. I think people are expecting this warm-hearted show about a black family and the hood, da, da, da. And it, it's not, it's, it's, it's definitely different. Yeah. It's definitely different. And I don't, I think, Black people got very upset that Seth MacFarlane was uh, attached to it. And they're like, what does he know about that? Yeah. Norman Lear, he slapped his name on it before he died. So he was like 100. And I was like, oh, did he die? He's involved. So I think people are just like, and then, you know, Steph Curry, people just don't like him sometimes. So the people who have their hands in it, it just, I guess it looked bad. I just, I don't know. It's just not a name that. I would expect to be involved with a show like that. You know yeah, what I, mean? I mean, yeah. I think the trailer was shot, it was just done like a movie, and it was very action act. So I don't know. I don't think it showed the the Ooh. real story, or I don't think it. The theme. I don't know. Yeah, the theme of it, the cause tone, I, the tone, like all that. And I. Why think did that, they call that shit good time? And that's what I said. I said, yeah. they maybe have called it something else. People yeah, wouldn't have been. The but then well, I just I said. said the talent, too. I said. Also, nobody's going to tune in, though. They, you know, but they're trying to make that they? spinoff money. 
I feel like it's worse. If you feel like they're not going to tune into an original property, don't give it the name of a beloved one. Because if your original IP can't hold its own, why would you attach something so beloved specifically to that community? And like you said, the Seth thing. Yeah, but then I I also said the original Good Times was a caricature of black culture too. Yeah, but I feel like this is a specific specific group of characters and it's a specific thematic through line in that show. And if you don't have those two things, like why call it Good Times and base it on the original series? And again- Love JB. It don't got nothing to do with him. Trying, JB is a plant on Harley Quinn. Yeah. And he bodied that shit. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's, the, I don't never blame the casting or the team. I just think oh, that no, somewhere. Was blaming along, them. They're like, yeah, but people don't be knowing there. who to blame a lot. Yeah. Like on Twitter and shit, they don't know who did what. They just see yeah. the idea of something without knowing the behind the scenes of things. And, yeah. You know. But then, but, okay, so in that instance, right? But people complaining. So let's take Seth McFarlane out of it, mm-hmm. but the show itself. So they have a black family in the projects, roaches and shit. Whatever. Oh, she's shit. First episode, Be like the Reggie character is singing to a rope. Like it is oh, it's supposed man. to be like silly. <laughs> nah. So it is, it is. That's the first opening scene. So people are like, "What the fuck is that?" They were going crazy on Twitter. I was watching. I bet. That's yeah, the opening that's scene. Opening the opening scene of the first episode. Scene. He's singing in the shower to Roach. Did he use the same theme song? No, okay. it's like a hip hop song. You know, there's eight oh eights on that shit. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> so then, um. <laughs> So then there's a drug dealing baby. Yeah, I saw that in the trailer. Stewie. There's, I you know, Stewie. stuff going on the street, in the hood. There's black Jesus. She's like, whatever. That's not good, though. So my thing is, how different is that from a show that has... It's a cartoon, number one. Let's just right, say right. it's a cartoon. It's not real. I'm playing a little devil's advocate. But when you have shows like Power, when you have shows like BMF and they're shooting and killing and drug dealing and it's like what is the it's a cartoon that's like a real like they're like it's not real life but it's clearly Mm -hmm. just a TV show and we accept that all the time in the black community with no problem and like it's normal like oh so many drug dealing shows yeah I agree with black people in it killing each other on the show and I'm like okay so exactly is the big difference it's a fucking cartoon things like power feel like almost like like a form of like Black exploitation porn, where it relates enough to a lifestyle that we understand, but is exaggerated, where it could be enjoyable for that aspect of you. Just like how you like to listen to gangster music. Yeah. <clears throat> Think about things like Snowfall, where like I think Snowfall, it's the yeah. nuance of the storytelling, mm-hmm. and because it's it 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 it's given the care to appear as true to life as it possibly could for the subject matter that it that it details. When you get to the street violence and the and the stereo, the things that could be interpreted as stereotypical. Shows like Snowfall always take the care, like Sopranos, even with Italian mm-hmm. culture, they take the care to express it in a way that's honest to the community while exploring how it ended up that way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like, so I feel like if you just came up with a show, like Snowfall is a better example to use for this than Power, for yeah. what I'm about to say. But like if you have snow, something like Snowfall in, <clears throat> then you have like eight years from now, a show called Snowfall, The Return come out. Mm-hmm. And like the trailer is like eight niggas like running out like running out like a fucking empty warehouse, like, yo, light these niggas up. And they just like light up, they just shoot a bunch of niggas. Like, oh, them niggas got clips. <laughs> Everybody pull it back, like, oh, no, I had to win, I had to win. And then niggas the like, hey, like, oh, them niggas trying to get our coke, nigga. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> and then that's just like the whole thing. Then it would I'm be sorry. like, yo, like, you. oh, so you take what we, what our initial concept was and <laughs> the care, the heart we put into the y'all. But still, yeah, can you say it. as a white person, if you don't know, or somebody else outside of black culture, not white specifically, yeah. but somebody outside the culture could watch Power, watch Snowfall, and be like, God, the blacks is really crazy. They yeah, but that's on them. But that's what I'm saying. Like, they, they were saying like, oh, well, this it could be a show where somebody could be watching it and be like, this is what happened in the black community. Oh, well, that's But the, yes, this, this, some of the yeah, stuff that yeah, happened well, on yeah, Good Times, the real yeah, Good Times, was yeah. happening in the black community. I think just the fact that they kind of like took the name from that series, it just immediately it makes it else, look yeah. like more of like a, yeah, it looks more like it was just like a, like it makes it look like it was a money grab in a way that wasn't necessary because I think it would exist better as a property that didn't attach that to it. And again, the best part of that show is JB Smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, <laughs> we had to throw no, I really feel like that though, man. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. Yeah, but that's a good point to be brought up because I feel like, for example, like your dad does the most, I think, in the field of, you know, um, you know, big, big international mm-hmm. and national properties. You know, mm-hmm. what I mean, in a certain way, and I think that a lot of people do conflate like an individual with 
the overall of something. A lot of people are contracted. It's a job. Like if I work for a restaurant, then you find out like the manager of that restaurant is killing babies. I had nothing to do with that. Right. I work. I, I make good margaritas, nigga. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I, <laughs> I don't got nothing margaritas. to do with that other shit. It's the same thing. It's just sometimes things go wrong. Showrunner switch. Didn't they yeah, have a they, they shift in the yeah, showrunner? Shift, shift I think that was it. I think it was as simple as that. And then people mm -hmm. shift the tone. They don't change some of the older things. It's a process. Yeah. We a little more in it than some other people. So I think sometimes our opinions is based on like knowing certain things and other people is just, oh, why would they? It was, yeah, it was, it was just like, a weird choice to me. Slander, it was crazy. Yeah, but it might be I. I like the Cleveland show. If they would have caught that shit good times, I probably wouldn't like that either. That's a white creative. It was a white creative. It was a white creative. And it was a white guy doing Cleveland's voice, too. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, I didn't know that until like a few years ago. Do people react the same way um, to the roach, to the guy singing <laughs> to the roach in the episode one if Seth MacFarlane's name is not on top? That's what I'm saying. Like, we if, we didn't, if we took Seth out of it, would people be like, okay? I don't think it would be as much yeah, I don't, backlash I don't think it's like a without a white person. ringleader. But like he's not writing yeah. it, he's just EPing it, he's just funding yeah. it. Yeah, I don't take it that way. You got to fund okay. that shit. That seems like a simpler thing to be upset at. I think that really tells me that, like, you know, you probably don't really got too much of the nuances of how that shit operates. To just I feel like marketing self. wise, it would just be smart to like support that behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, we gotta yeah. support black shit. You know what marketing. I mean? But it's just, it's like, saying, is it black? You saying Seth? No, I'm saying. Seth I was saying if he wanted to, he could that. he can executive produce it, but just Privately. don't put your name on it. You know, ghost yeah, produce yeah. it. People do yeah. that. He, yeah, people I do didn't do even that. know. I don't even know why that was such a problem because he's white. Like Norman Lear was on the original Good Times, and now there's a lot of shit coming out about him, like supposedly stealing. And he's a legend for all shit. People just be the internet just looks for shit to get upset at, man. Like it's like if you too. know it's why, then, yeah. Like it's, if you know why you're upset at something, that's one thing. But they just be looking for shit, bro. People feel smarter when they mad than when they hide. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But no, fuck them. They did this. Then it'd be so much passion and people. That's a vitriol. good segue. Oh yeah, ooh, yo, yeah. my duh, yeah. Who's Let's talk about Shorty. Well, he just said people and, um, like to be no, angry. Like, that was fucked up. <laughs> oh my let's God. talk about the young woman and no, the young man. No, y'all can't start it off with my girl like that. No, nah, let's get it, yo. Shannon Sharp, Amanda Sales interview. I think, I've been telling everybody to watch this interview. It was one of the best interviews I've seen in a minute. In it was way? so good. What was good? Not Shannon. <laughs> Not did you Shannon. Watch, did you? Well, did. you got I the bullet the points. I watched it so much. My shorty was like, yo, you still watching this shit? She came out like 5.30 in the morning to go long. to the bathroom. Yeah. Because I would get caught up and have to bring it back on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I kept I kept watching the pieces. I would do my hair yeah, like watch it was long. 45 minutes. And I kept watching it. I was- Mad times. I was, I was very <laughs> determined to finish this interview. Yeah, it took me a minute. I will I tell through. you. What's your overall takeaway? Yeah, please. I think she did a really good job. As a job. black woman. Oh, Isaiah, <laughs> Yo, call like, I'm Isaiah. free now. I'm he free now. Well, who, 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 wait, oh, which one? What are we calling him about? He just yeah. skip I mean, he could, he could yeah, just, just jump in on this. Up this. Yeah, just get him on this. You're Yo, it's Yo. all of us. We're recording. Oh, my God. Yo, I be calling in like I'm from like I'm in jail. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a fact. <laughs> you do. Yeah. We accept the charges, bro. <laughs> accept the charges. <laughs> Every so time. So I was in the middle of just saying how I really liked the interview. I appreciated what she had to say. I like that she said. That a lot of things that she talks about in general, which gets her like a lot of backlash, is that she comes from a place where she's not going off feelings, she's going off facts. And she's like, and I'm very qualified to mention these things because I went and studied this, or I made sure I did the research before I, I said things. And I was like, I really appreciate that. Now, Shannon Sharp, on the other hand, was pissing me off. That was a club, Shay Shay. Because, what do you mean, why? So he gonna say, he's not actively listening to her entire time. And every time she's saying something, he tried to be like, but what if it's like this and maybe you're the one that did something wrong? And I'm like, and then he's not, we, no, let me finish. We, let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. I knew I was going to come in here arguing with y'all. So listen, he, and then he's going to go, <laughs> and then he's like, he's like, not an active listener at all. How are you going to be interviewing somebody and constantly getting things wrong as she's telling you the story? It's like, it was like, it was kind of, honestly, he wasn't equipped to do something like this. It was beyond his intelligent level, and I feel bad for the man. And that oh just wasn't, God. that was just, it just was not it. How are you gonna go? How are you gonna, how are you gonna go? Are your mother white? <laughs> My mother is not white. That oh, was your crazy. mother, your mother married a white man? No, he didn't. So I'm like, so wait, why are you not, why are you interviewing her? You're not listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're done. <clears throat> I did. I'm not siding with Amanda. I'm not siding with Amanda. I, I ain't fucking with it. I think, um, she trouble. She trouble everywhere she go. Erica, you know that. Everywhere she goes, she a problem. 
<laughs> you know what Everywhere. She, what is everybody she said. Why does everybody have a problem with Amanda? Why is it never we? Why, why is it always? She's always the victim. Yo, she said that she just doesn't feel supported. My and when you are it. feeling like that in a space, it. you are going to be defensive and you I are going to try it. to protect she, yourself. So maybe she doesn't I feel supported. It. And I the part where Issa said, Issa said to her, I guess I was looking at you like your character, the character that she wrote for her. That's like unfair. I ain't never seen well, Jerry. I didn't, I didn't so watch that secure, so I don't really know her character, here. but I, I, I only can go from where I interact with people in real life. I met Shorty for real, for real. So yeah, I'm cool. What else y'all talking about up there? I'm cool. <laughs> no, that's the topic. You gotta give me a real opinion. <laughs> nah, she did that's you. Yo, opinion. I really I fit. think she a problem everywhere she go. And I think that Yo. because she can articulate so well that that shit gets overlooked. But it's like, mm. at the end of the day, you're always the problem. No matter where it you go, like you're that, the problem. Though. Yes, we know Shannon, talk Shannon Sharp can't talk. Okay, he got CTE. <laughs> we, we know the nigga a little. We know he a little off. He said he got CTE. This nigga said yeah, we need you in school. This nigga <laughs> said he got CTE. got CTE. But um, like, he said it like he got the documents. Like, no. He know. <laughs> oh no, no, he got CTE. He can't talk. Then, <laughs> no, 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 why? 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 And uh, but yeah, uh, I, I don't know, man. I just think that going back to what we talked about, Cat Williams just opened up. He just opened up that rabbit hole with people to go up there and start saying shit. She could have been said she had a problem with Issa before, but you know, that's the platform now. I'm on I didn't even hear Issa Ray's side and I'm on Issa's side. <laughs> <laughs> Yo Zay. He got personal, he got actual like she must have hurt your interaction. Feelings. That's a fact. Yo, Zay, before we let you go, like, bro, because we kind of running out of time. Running out of time. How you feel about um how you feel about Gerard Carmichael's show? Give us just like five words. Five or less. Um, I just think he's just trying to tell his story right now. I don't like how he's trying to come at Dave Chappelle. I think that, mm -hmm. um, I think he studied Chappelle comedy. I, I, always, I always looked at him as like another Chappelle type of comedian. Mm -hmm. like, uh, you it's know definitely what I mean? like his style. Mm -hmm. you, his style you know what I mean? So I don't appreciate him coming at you know, Chappelle and, you know, Chappelle just don't give a fuck. So he, he apologized, though. He did on he the Breakfast Club. Yeah. Yeah. You feel Chappelle like that? Apologized? Like he like apologized similar? on the Breakfast Club. You, you feel right, like similar? Right. Oh, yeah, it's very right. similar. Oh, okay. Slow, okay, 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 okay. slow cadence. Yeah. Very slow similar cadence. to Chappelle. That's what I said. So I when I was watching him, I always thought of, okay, he probably like early day. So it was kind of, it was kind of weird for me when he came at him like that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, exactly what I said. But yeah, he said he regret that and like, uh, he said he spoke to Chappelle and everything, but um, yeah. That's all it. right, bro. Tell him about the missus set. We about to, have to get out of here. Right? Go on. We gotta go. <laughs> all right, see you later. Love you, my boy. Love, bro. Love you, bro. Love you, um, yeah. yeah, we might have to come back on this, you know. But I liked it. I like this episode. I like how this we, was like, fun. Floating around, shit. We to be continued. Mean I don't mean to call Shannon Sharp stupid. No, but. no, no, no. You are probably, <laughs> I texted him in a group chat. I was like, so he just called so Shannon stupid. He's a little slow. No, I mean, yeah, I mean you can watch the interview. Y'all really want to get Before we even end, before we wrap it up, I would just say, like, there's a lot of uh, to be uh, discussed in that. Like, I don't want to see, because we joke, we all come from houses of comedy, and I don't like when serious topics or things that can be interpreted seriously come off like we're being insensitive to mm -hmm. things. We just have fun. That's why I think even Jerrica is suggesting, and I think it's a good idea. We'll come back and discuss this a little further, because um, on both sides, there are thoughts. You don't want to be dismissive about a woman in, um, you know, a, in any business, especially yeah. specifically a black woman. And I also think that, you know, there Good are degrees up. to which certain things mm -hmm. are, you know, made to be interpreted differently on the other side as well. So, you know, I don't know if y'all heard what Talon said. We're going to cut this nigga mic now. <laughs> <laughs> I was good until you said that. You threw me up. But yeah, yo, well, Jericho, Thank you for else. coming and watching another episode of Kenna Comedy. This was a good yeah. one, y'all. I love that. I no, miss being in, uh, in the booth, in the studio, whatever. Um, smash that like button. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate y'all. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Like that smash Peace button.